Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily and today I will answer another question here from YouTube. It's a long question and you can pause and read it all, but I will summarize it for you basically how to shorten filament resource because it may become pretty huge with thousand lines of code. So how to split that all into modules or whatever. To be honest, I don't have a perfect answer for that. Because this question is not that much about filament, but it's about the same refactoring rules as it would be in Laravel, in PHP, in whatever framework or whatever language. You have a huge class and you may want to refactor it to smaller classes, for example, or smaller methods or whatever you prefer. So this is a very, very individual question with personal preference, how you want to split your classes of filament resources. But what I do want to show you is the official demo repository of demo.filamentphp.com, how they are grouping one of the biggest files in their system or the resource. So here's how it looks visually, table with some widgets, with some filtering and form is pretty complex if you click new order. So quite a lot of logic and quite a lot of code. How do they structure that resource? So let's go through that file and see. So some settings, then the form, and then the table method. The form method seems pretty short and we will get to that in a minute. And table is longer but doesn't have any refactoring or anything like that. Just filter after filter with action, with bulk action, which kind of tells me that the filament team behind that demo project is okay with file being 300 lines of code. That's one way how I would understand that. But if we get back to the form fields, let's take a look. There's group, there's section, there are placeholders, but have you noticed this thing? So there's a separate method. They separated the full form into one method with two parameters. Get form schema with optional parameter items. Let's take a look at that get form schema and GitHub shows it to us. And we see if section items, then we return the full form with all the components and everything. Otherwise, if it's not items, then we return another set of fields. So yeah, the same thought as earlier, nothing really fancy. They just extracted two arrays into a method in the same class. And actually I would personally probably have two methods instead of one without that if statement and without the parameter. So get main form schema and get items schema or something like that. But that's just personal preference. And speaking about personal preferences, this is where I always get back to the same thought. How to structure Laravel projects? People constantly ask me that. Same with filament. It's your personal preference. But in general, while working with filament projects, even with larger ones, I became kind of okay with structure like that. Everything in one file. It may be 300 lines, but look at what lines contain. Most of those lines are just one method. Like, okay, if you're going for lower amount of lines of code, you can put this in one line, for example, instead of three or four lines. So these 300 lines of code could be shortened to 100 if you wish to. But in case of filament, it kind of seems pretty natural. So this is almost like settings, almost reads like configuration file of some kind. And personally, when I try to move things around and extract it to somewhere, that somewhere didn't really stick to me. That somewhere then is kind of outside of filament and then you have to search for it and put extra time into that. There are exceptions, of course, if there are, for example, methods to get options for dropdown and that method could be in Laravel service, for example. So like methods to get the data or set the data, some of that may be, for example, in eloquent accessors or mutators, so outside of filament again. So if you can use Laravel logic with models to set something even before filament, that could be a way. But in general, what I wanted to say in this video is that 300 lines of code in filament resource or even a thousand lines of code, in my opinion, is not a problem. Would you agree with me or not? Let's discuss in the comments. Or if you do have example where you extracted part of the resource into somewhere, share your idea and again we will discuss. And subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.